push myself to the edge of my limits and beyond. But you've been born with a natural talent far beyond my own. No amount of training could have closed the gap between us. I realize that now. It was made painfully obvious to me today as I watched your fight with Bobby's monster. Imagine my shock to see the undeniable proof to discover that no matter how hard I tried, I would never be able to catch you. A warrior prince forever living in the shadow of a low-level clown. So that's when I secretly made up my mind. You mean you? You fool! You deliberately let yourself fall under Bobbity's spell! Yes, I saw the power of Bobbity's magic at the World Martial Arts Tournament. Those two henchmen, he said. The people who had seen those fighters in the previous tournament couldn't understand how they'd become so powerful. But you and I know, don't we? It was Bobbity's magic, and I knew that what his magic had done for those fighters, it could also do for me. I knew that if I allowed myself to fall under his control, the difference in our power would disappear. I'm quite pleased with the results, even if they do come at a price. I'd say the end more than justifies the means. Vegeta, I don't understand. You've never allowed anyone to help me before in your life. Why start now? Why Bobbity? Because I wanted him to reawaken the evil in my heart. I wanted him to return me to the way I was before! I was the perfect warrior, cold and ruthless! I lived